if you can serve in the military, you can get your fashion right. This will this will be a piece of cake compared to everything else that, that that you've been through. Choosing an outfit for the first day in a new office is easy enough, right? Get on well, maybe not if you've worn this uniform for the past twenty years, and even those have gone through some alterations. By combining military tradition with classical design, the service woman has a wardrobe which meets the requirements of duty and the dictates of fashion. Hanging up the uniform can be exciting and a little scary. So fashion expert Tim Gunn, you know him from Project Runway and Making the Cut, offers some tips to get you started. It's everything because it has to do with how we are presenting ourselves to the world. And the most important aspect of that is, is to have the clothing that you're wearing and the, the grooming that you're engaged in make you feel strong and confident about what it is you are wearing. You want to feel as though you own the world. And I find that when you exude that level of confidence and self-assurance, the world believes you. I don't care what you're wearing, it can be anything. As long as you subscribe to three principles that, that I follow every day, um, you'll look great no matter what you're wearing. And those principles are silhouette, proportion, and fit. And when they're in harmony and balance, you'll look great. And people always ask, well, what does that mean? Well, silhouette means follow your natural silhouette. Don't wear clothes that jut out from you, um, expand the impression of your size. I'm always saying the more volume your clothes have, the more volume you appear to have. What are some of the basic staples that you suggest they, they buy first to build their wardrobe? I would say a blazer, like I'm wearing, and it doesn't have to be a navy blazer. It can be any, any jacket that, that appeals to you in, in any color or any textile that appeals to you. But it's a way of taking something as ubiquitous as a t-shirt and a pair of, je of jeans and dressing it up. Um, I always tell people in offices, if, especially if it's a casual environment, such as many technology companies, have a blazer on the back of your chair or, or, your, or the door to your office in case the boss is coming um, or a board member. It just, you'll look more presentable. You look as though you've tried harder than everyone else and, and, and you will appear to care because in fact you do. Um, a good pair of dress pants for men and women. Um, a classic shirt, I, I recommend white. Um, as a staple, and then you can branch out from there. Um, and it needs to be tucked in. <laughs> is there really a difference between a thousand dollar suit and a hundred dollar suit on the sale rack? There's probably a marginal difference. If it's a real suit that's only a hundred dollars, there will be a big difference. Um, and, and I'll tell you what the differences will be. The quality of the textile, which will be um, minimal, there are, believe it or not, the number of stitches that put the garment together. That will be compromised. So will buttons and buttonholes. Um, even uh, pockets, they may be faux, they may not be real. Though I have to say to men and to women who are wearing suits, don't put anything in your pocket other than a handkerchief. You don't want that bulk. But I will also say, I think it's entirely unnecessary to spend $1,000 for a suit. I have a wonderful menswear brand that I wear all the time, and the suits are between five and $600. And I've been wearing them for years. And uh, it's just, it's unnecessary to spend a lot of money. Do you have any, I guess, words of wisdom that you can share with our service members as they get ready to make their first shopping trip? Enjoy it. Think of it as being something fun. You can take a shopping trip and come home with nothing. Um, better that than to come home with things that you really aren't going to wear. That's the worst. If you are saying to yourself, there's nothing here I want, that's great because it means you're, you're thinking critically, you're thinking analytically. I would also say before heading out to the stores, look online, see, see what, what brands um, really speak to you, um, what kinds of items speak to you. Oh, and there's one, I have one other very important piece of advice. Find a fashion mentor. Um, and by that, I mean someone um, whose style you really like, someone whose body type and coloring um, echoes your own. It helps um, stabilize you and, and your judgments. Um, and it keeps you away from things that are really, truly wacky. Um, you're gonna be, be sorry you asked me this, Amanda. There's, a, there's another um, factor in this. 
Okay. If you're asking yourself the question, is this right for me? It probably isn't. Am I too old to wear this? You probably are. But if you're really strongly conflicted, there may be a reason. Listen to your own voice.